when she was at the shelter. They weren't sure if she was going to make it, but then one day she just turned a corner. I'm Carolyn, and this is Broccoli's story for GeoBeats. Broccoli came into our lives around three years ago. We got her from Nashville Humane. Here she is. <laughs> her cat dad, he hadn't been like a big cat person growing up, but then we had visited my family, who I grew up with cats, and he really liked all the cats. So then after that, we had been wanting to get a cat. When we did adopt Broccoli at first, she had a really bad like, upper respiratory infection, so we had to give her meds for a while. She's definitely a daddy's girl. She loves her dad. She always wants to be hanging around her dad. She sleeps on a pillow above both of our heads, and so she'll always take some time and hang out with her dad, sit on his chest for a bit before she goes up there. What are you doing? What are you doing? April 2020, we had been thinking about getting a second cat. Whenever we did have to leave, we would notice that she would like sit by the door a lot and just look like sad waiting for us to come home. We could tell that like she was lonely. They're so cute. So that's when we decided to go to the Nashville Humane Association where we got broccoli. We took Dilly home. I have to go to work. <coughs> we don't know his story either. I love you. <coughs> no one at the vet or at the shelter was able to really tell us anything about his background. We didn't know that he had asthma. He's getting much better. Look at your mom. He'll come running like as soon as he sees us grab his inhaler. Where Broccoli is a daddy's girl. Dilly is definitely a mama's boy. He's always following me around like a little dog. He's very loud and vocal. He keeps us entertained, always. Dilly, that's not a smart move. We always joke that they're frenemies. They'll be cuddling and giving each other baths, and two seconds later, they'll be swatting at each other. But overall, I feel like she's a lot happier to have him around. <laughs> Broccoli's just very sweet. I feel like she's very in tune with um, people's emotions. You know, if we have a long day, she always is first to run up to the door and wants to cuddle up with you. Broccoli's on like a weight loss plan to make sure she's in a little bit of a healthier range. We've been trying to play with her more. She loves the sun. She loves to look out the window. We always do wonder what her story was. She doesn't make biscuits like cats normally do. So we're wondering if maybe she was separated from her mom too early to catch on to doing that. And we always say that we can't imagine our lives without either of them, but like especially Broccoli since she was the first one that we got. She's just a part of our family. <laughs>